Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project Agricultural Supply Chain Management System Using Blockchain. Introduction This project aims to revolutionize food supply chain traceability by integrating blockchain technology. It addresses issues in traditional methods to enhance safety and quality by providing a more secure and transparent system for tracking product origins within the complex supply chain. Current agricultural traceability methods suffer from data fragmentation, centralized controls, and time-consuming processes. These drawbacks pose risks to product safety and public health, necessitating a shift towards a more efficient and decentralized approach. So the project introduces a blockchain-based architecture to overcome the limitations of traditional methods. Blockchain is like a digital ledger that records transactions securely and transparently. Instead of having all the data in one place, blockchain stores records as blocks of data, each with a unique code called a hash. These blocks are distributed across multiple computers or nodes, making it much harder for anyone to tamper with the data or compromise the entire system. And blockchain offers several advantages. First, it is decentralized, meaning the data isn't stored in one vulnerable location. Second, it enhances security because the data is stored in encrypted format that is very difficult to alter or hack. Third, it promotes transparency as all transactions are recorded and visible to authorized users. Fourth, it ensures data immutability, meaning once something is recorded in the blockchain, it can't be easily changed. Finally, it is resilient to failures because even if some nodes go down, others continue to maintain the data. And in this project, we use Ethereum, a blockchain platform famous for its creation of smart contracts. In our system, smart contracts act like digital supervisors overseeing and managing interactions and transactions among everyone involved in the agricultural supply chain. Objective of the project. So, as I mentioned earlier, the primary objective of the project is to employ blockchain's distributed software design and computing prowess to transform how entities exchange information in the agricultural supply chain, enhancing efficiency and reliability. And we aim to execute the novel method using Ethereum smart contracts to ensure secure crop tracing, elevate business security, enabling transparent traceable communication stored in an immutable IPFS linked ledger. And the goal is to eradicate intermediaries, transaction records, and centralized authorities in the agricultural supply chain using blockchain technology. And we aim to enhance safety and efficiency by facilitating direct peer-to-peer -peer interactions. And the objective also includes enhancing safety and efficiency by leveraging blockchain's decentralized and tamper-resistant nature. And we want to maintain high reliability and integrity in the supply chain through secure, transparent transactions and immutable data. Requirements needed to execute this project are software requirements, Python IDLE of 3.7.0 version, Node.js, Visual Studio Community version, Ganache, and MetaMask Chrome extension. Backend languages used are Python, JavaScript, and Solidity. Framework used is Flask. Frontend languages used are HTML, CSS, JS, and Bootstrap 4. Hardware requirements needed are Operating system of Windows, Processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8GB and above, and ROM of 20GB and above. So to execute the project, we have designed few modules. First, we'll discuss the seed company modules. The first one is seed company registration. In this module, seed companies register on the blockchain platform. This involves providing necessary information to create a unique identity on the network. The second module is seed company login. So after registration, seed companies log into the blockchain platform using secure authentication methods, gaining access to their respective accounts. The third module is add seeds. Here, seed companies can add information about the seeds they produce or supply onto the blockchain. This includes details such as seed type, origin, and any relevant information. The next one is view, accept or reject purchase requests. Here, seed companies can view purchase requests from farmers. These requests would include details about the quantity of seeds, price at which they want to purchase, and any other relevant information. Seed companies can then accept or reject these requests based on their inventory and other factors. Now we'll discuss the farmer modules. The first one is farmer registration. 
In this module, farmers register on the blockchain platform, providing necessary information to establish their identity and join the network. The second module is farmer login. So once registered, farmers log into the blockchain platform using secure authentication, gaining access to their accounts. The next module is check seeds and make purchases. Here, farmers can browse through the available seeds on the blockchain, reviewing details provided by seed companies. They can then submit purchase requests for the desired seeds, specifying the quantity they need. And the last module is view purchase. After submitting a purchase request, farmers can track the status of the request. They can view information about accepted requests, any other relevant details. Blockchain integration. So blockchain's distributed software design is leveraged to transform how information is exchanged among various entities in the agricultural supply chain. Instead of relying on a centralized authority or database, the information is stored across a network of nodes ensuring decentralization and increased security. This reduces the risk of a single point of failure and enhances the resilience of the information exchange process. And Ethereum smart contracts are employed to ensure secure crop tracing and facilitate transparent and traceable communications. Smart contracts enforce the rules governing crop tracing, ensuring that the process is secure, transparent and tamper resistant. This enhances trust among participants in the agricultural supply chain. Blockchain is utilized to maintain an immutable ledger, meaning that once information is recorded, it cannot be altered. The use of the interplanetary file system that is IPFS for linking adds an extra layer of security and decentralization. IPFS allows for the storage and retrieval of content using a content address system. This content is stored in the form of blocks. Each block in a blockchain is linked with a unique hash code. These blocks are maintained across multiple nodes or servers. Before storing new records, blockchain verifies the hash code of each block. If any block data is modified, it results in a different hash code triggering security alarms and ensuring the integrity and immutability of the data. Therefore, the combination of blockchain and IPFS creates a tamper-resistant record of communications where the immutability of blockchain meets the distributed and content-addressed features of IPFS. And blockchain technology is applied to eliminate the need for intermediaries, transaction records, and centralized authorities in the agricultural supply chain. Through the decentralized nature of blockchain, transactions and information exchange can occur directly between relevant parties without the need for a trusted intermediary. This reduces costs, minimizes the risk of fraud, and enhances efficiency in the supply chain. And we have used Ganache in this project. So Ganache is a user-friendly interface for monitoring Ethereum blockchain activities. It simplifies tracking of accounts, transactions, and smart contracts, making it accessible even for users without in-depth blockchain expertise. Ganache offers detailed transaction information, including sender, receiver, amounts, gas usage, and success status, aiding debugging and ensuring transaction accuracy. It also tracks smart contract deployments, confirming correct deployment and functionality. This transparency simplifies monitoring and verification processes. And Ganache lets us dive into the details of each block on the Ethereum blockchain. We can find out when a particular block was added, what transactions took place within it, and how much computing power, that is gas, was used. Ganache also enables data retrieval from stored blocks, allowing developers to access and analyze specific block information. And we have also used MetaMask in this project. So MetaMask is both an Ethereum wallet and a browser extension. It simplifies cryptocurrency management and provides direct access to dApps, making interactions with blockchain applications easier. So in this project, MetaMask ensures secure Ethereum transactions, promoting transparency by showing the deduction of ETH as fees. This transparency maintains accuracy and ensures confident, reliable financial interactions within the system. Execution of the project. To execute the project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is contracts folder in which I have Solidity files. They handle data structures, functions and events with modifiers for validation. This is static folder. It consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. 
This is templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to frontend logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML pages. And this is rendered bad file to start supply chain management system. This is rendered bad file to start the IPFS server. So IPFS is a decentralized file storage system for secure and distributed data sharing. Blockchain is effective for recording transactional data, but for large file storage, it integrates with IPFS. So now double click on it. So we can see the IPFS server has been started. Now minimize this. So before running the run.bat file, first we have to host the Ganache server. For that, open Ganache. So we can see the Ganache server has been hosted. Now we'll get back to the code folder. Now double click on under bat file to start supply chain management system. So the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address, local host and port unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. After pasting it, hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. So here we can see seed company sign up, seed company sign in, farmer sign up and farmer sign in links. Click on seed company sign up link. So here we have to fill in all these details and click on add seed company button to register as seed company. So username would be Ramesh. Give the password, give the contact number, give the email ID and the address. Now click on add seed company button. So here we can see user sign up task completed. So all these user details will be stored to blockchain in a form of block. We can see that in Ganache. So here we can see a block has been created in which all these user details will be stored. So we can retrieve the data from here. Now minimize this. Now we log in as seed company. Click on seed company sign in link. Give the previously mentioned credentials, username and password. Username is Ramesh. Give the correct password and click on company login button. So we have logged in as seed company Ramesh and here we can see add seeds, view and accept purchases and logout links. Click on add seeds link. So here seed company can add new seed details to the system. Fill in all these details. Product number would be one. Seed name is coriander seed. Seed quantity is 20 kgs. Seed price would be 5000. Address is Hyderabad. So here we have to upload the seed image. Click on choose file button. So I'm uploading this image and click on open. So after filling in all these details, click on add seeds button. So we can see the product details are been added to the blockchain. And we can also see the IPFS generated hash code for the uploaded image. So this hash code will also be saved to blockchain. Now click on seed company screen. Click on view and accept purchases link. So here seed company can view the purchase request sent by the farmers. So we can see there are no purchase requests sent yet. Now click on logout. Now we'll register as farmer. Click on farmer sign up link. We have to fill in all these details. Username would be Ram. Give the password. Give the contact number. Give the email ID and the address. Now click on add farmer button. So here we can see user sign up task completed. So all these user details and the product details will be stored to blockchain. We can see that in Ganache. 
So we can see a block has been created in which all these details will be stored. Now minimize this and in MetaMask, click on the Chrome extension. We have to give the password here. So we can see I have a balance of 99.9667 ETH in my MetaMask wallet, which represents the deducted amount after recent transactions. In the context of a blockchain, transactions refer to the actions or operations that are recorded on the blockchain ledger. So now we'll sign in as farmer, click on farmer sign in link, give the previously mentioned credentials, username is Ram, give the password and click on farmer login button. So we have logged in as Farmer Ram. So here we can see check seeds, view purchase and logout links. Click on check seeds link. Here farmers can view the list of products added by the seed companies. So we can see product number, seed name, quantity, price, address, image of the seed. And we can see a click here to purchase link. By clicking on it, we can place the order. So I'm clicking on the click here to purchase link. So here we have to mention the quantity and price at which we want to purchase. So the price quoted by the seed company was 20 kgs at rupees 5000. Now we'll try giving 20 kgs at rupees 4000. Now click on submit button. So here we can see the price quoted by the seed company is higher. Now we'll try giving 50 cages at 5,000 rupees. And click on submit button. So we can see this much quantity is not available. Now we'll give 20 cages at rupees 5,000. Click on submit button. So we can see the request sent to seed company. Now click on farmer screen, click on view purchase link. So here farmers can review their purchases. We can see there are no purchases yet. Now click on logout. We we'll log in as seed company again. Click on seed company sign in link. Give the credentials, username and password of seed company. And click on company login. So we have logged in as seed company. Now click on view and accept purchases link. So here seed company can view the purchase request sent by the farmers. So we can see the details of the farmer and the quantity, the need and the price at which they want. So here we can see a click here to accept or decline link. By clicking on it, we can accept or reject the request. So I'm clicking on it. So here we have to select from the drop down whether it is accepted or rejected. So I'm giving it as accepted. Now click on submit decision button. So here we can see decision saved to blockchain. Now click on logout link. We we'll log in as farmer again. Click on farmer sign in link. Give the credentials of farmer. And click on farmer login button. Now click on view purchases link. So here we can see the purchases made by the farmer. So we can see the decision of the company that is accepted. We can see all of the details that is price, quantity, quantity needed by the farmer, quantity price quoted by the farmer and the image of the seed. Now click on logout. So all the transaction details, product details, registration details will be stored in the blockchain as blocks and can be retrieved from there. So we can see that in Ganache. So the blocks have been created. Now click on any block. So here we can see the block hash and the transaction hash.
click on the transaction hash so here we can see the send address two contract address gas used gas price gas limit and the transaction data now minimize this in metamask so we can see each balance remains unchanged after each block creation because the project's actions don't involve significant eth transfers this is normal as not all operations lead to substantial balance changes so the conclusion here is the integration of blockchain technology marks a transformative step in the agricultural supply chain redefining how information is exchanged and transactions are conducted among diverse stakeholders through the use of ethereum smart contracts and a tamper resistant blockchain the project ensures secure crop tracing and transparent communications bolstering the overall security and reliability of the supply chain the project successfully eliminates the need for intermediaries transaction records and centralized authorities embracing the decentralized nature of blockchain this reduces dependency lowers costs and streamlines processes within the agricultural supply chain and the combination of an immutable ledger and the integration with the interplanetary file system that is ipfs creates a robust record keeping system each piece of information is uniquely identified and linked providing a tamper resistant and permanent record of communications thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in for updates on latest project videos please visit true projects youtube channel and subscribe